All right, we're back after lunch, guys, and uh, still working on this catapult. I found uh, a few things that I'm gonna use to um, build this thing. So far, it's like I got half of everything that I need. And uh, I'm going into the deep storage here, deep storage to see if I can find the rest of everything that I need. And it looks like I'm heading in the right direction. These are gonna fit. I got zinc, I've got galvanized. It doesn't matter, okay? Because we're not building this thing to win any awards. If I wanna make it all look the same, I'll spray paint it. Ooh, how about that, yeah. So I'm gonna need one, two, Three, four, one, two, three. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need more of these because I'm going to need one, two, no, that's it. I'm going to just need four. So if that's the case, I'm just going to go galvanize to everything and Get rid of this zinc. So one, it'll all look the same. Get rid of the zinc ones. Just spray paint these. Cause I was using these for like little welding projects and stuff. So I mean, I just bought these to weld together basically. You know if I showed you guys. See that? That's my uh, welded motorcycle project. <laughs> okay, so we went into the deep storage and found everything that we needed, we think, to bolt everything together. Put these back to where I don't need them right now, so I get them out of the way. I really need more storage solutions out here, but I just have to deal with what I got right now. So this is what I'm using, it's just some cheap galvanized nuts here. Got these studs, gonna go through here. And I'm gonna put my bull. Well, I'll All right, we're making progress on this thing. We've stained uh, the upright beams here. Got the holes drilled for mounting it up there. Just gonna let those dry. I gotta find some bolts to mount it together here finish working on this base I might stain the two by fours at the base there boards that they're kind of tacky still but they're close enough to dry they're not dry at all they're sticky as crap but whatever we're not building this to like win any accolades or anything right so let's put that to the inside there yep so we're just gonna put these through here bolt it together cut off the excess this is what it is let's put one of these bolts here now should I spray paint these nuts or just leave them probably just gonna leave them I spray painted them I'd like tear everything off whenever I um, tighten them up with a wrench together already let's get this thing here you know what if I had some more of these studs, I wouldn't even have to cut them off. Uh, 
since they don't hang out over the base, you know. If I cut them off right here, then I could use the remainder of these studs to do this one over here. And uh, I just think it looks pretty cool like that. Look at that. I mean, that's like metal militia right there. And I got these, but this one is a little bit longer than the other one. But you know what? We could just cut it off. It'd be easier to cut one of them than it would cut all of them. These things are freaking stainless steel too, so I'm not really looking forward to cutting them. Because I uh, um, don't know if you guys have cut stainless before. It's a pain in the ass to cut. If I had a bandsaw quarter band that would be the ticket but I want a quarter band but I can't really justify just going out and buy one because I need to cut off one little bolt there of course I say that now watch when I get it cut and well out it takes me like five minutes I'll be like oh let's go get a quarter band look what I did I didn't put a washer in there you guys let me do that you let me screw it up what am I doing what am I doing? Come on. Look, it was laying right there. You guys should have said something to me. This is taking forever here. This is like old school fidget spinner here. Look at this, old school. That's how I used to have to do it when I was a kid. I didn't have a new shit. Alright, we're coming down to town now. Look at that. Tighten that thing out there. I'm to put the long one on top. Easier to cut off, easier to get to. Theory. washer come on you think you can carry a little bit of momentum Just gonna have to mount this up here somehow. We're well on our way to creating this catapult. All right, just swap batteries in the GoPro. Uh, rethinking what's going to happen next here. Just sit there using the KTM of the table.
Yeah, I forgot about the bolt sticking through there. No. So, yeah, here we go. Look at this. What do you think of this as a catapult? Oh, I forgot to attach that. It's not very good, is it? So, um, man, that stuff is like nowhere near dry. Don't try to stain on a day like today. <clears throat> so, what ideally needs to happen is I need to find some bolts that, like wood bolts, big screws that I can screw into these legs. And I'll just ditch this plywood top altogether and have the legs affixed directly to these holes in the table. And that'll streamline everything a lot more than it is right now. And give it an even more unique look. And then we'll just build the catapult base like independent we can clamp it down to this table or not take it off and we'll just remove the top and it can stand alone like that all right the catapult work has came to an abrupt end i've been summoned inside to paint i have to paint three window frames so that we can install these new blinds that we just got that we've been waiting on for like three or four weeks and uh, that's what we'll be working on window painting what? that one right there? mom which one? oh man let's stir this this is terrible What is that? Look at that. Nobody That's disgusting. For what? We're gonna stir this nasty paint up. Man, this stuff is disgusting looking. Oh, it's terrible. Look at that. Uh, it's just so nasty. Look, Look at it. What are you doing? <laughs> you video I didn't get her to do that. I'm going to make her do that again. <laughs> to do the doors now. What? They have to do the doors. Oh, they have to do the doors, yeah. They will. They'll do the doors like last. I like these houses over here. Yeah, the basement was really nice. Yeah, man, that basement would be awesome for me. close to 
the edge of the road. Yes, we have made it back home. Now we can go eat everything. Yeah, yummy. I'm gonna do a video here. All right, we got one more thing to do here. We gotta hang some blinds. These the batteries are about dead, and I'm gonna be using them a lot today. Oh. This is a toolkit I got for my wife for downstairs. It, it's pretty handy. Here, quit. Like this screwdriver here is pretty handy. It's a ratcheting screwdriver. Uh huh. Uh, Stanley Fat Man Express. And that's got, you know, a bunch of assorted bits for it. Pretty easy to use. What are you going to do, Mommy? Let's give this a shot here. What do Mommy? And then press it off. Okay. Where's the fly? All right, here's uh, the progress we made on the catapult today. We got everything kind of mocked up to the way we want it. I got the two foot threaded rod. I'm gonna run all the way through the bottom. That's what I'm gonna use to attach the arm on here. And uh, it's gonna be up here. I might have to cut the end off of that wood around a little bit to make it make that spin up or even bore down into the plywood, or whatever. I'll figure that out and then I'm gonna adjust this top part with the clamps to adjust the trajectory of uh, whatever we're firing and uh, we'll try to work on that some more tomorrow but as for now it's like battery charging time so just about got everything charged back up and uh still didn't get to go fishing but uh, you will see i'm gonna put away some of this gear and finish out my kits here oh cool another sticker and uh call it a day So I was saying earlier, I posted an Instagram video where I opened up that catfish. This is like one of my catfish tackle boxes here. You can see I got like enough cat gear to last for days. I've got other catfish hooks too, but um, I'm gonna like go catch some catfish before I start getting any more catfish gear. I'm gonna work on that there, uh, in the next few weeks. And uh, Hope you guys follow along, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, we'll try to have some fun this summer. <laughs>